Kia ora friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm Gina and in today's video we're going to be continuing on with the Ophelia Hall build. So in the last video I managed to get a bit of this um, build complete. It's actually a prototype and today we're going to be continuing on actually putting, build, starting to actually build it out and in order for me to do that I need to get some supplies. So come along with me while I go and grab some bits and pieces. out I also picked up a sheet of MDF and I'm using this to create the foundation and all I'm doing here is just cutting it down to size which is based off the measurements of the prototype. So using the really long coffee stir sticks that I picked up from Spotlight and I've just what I've done is just cut off the very uh, each end because they're rounded like a popsicle stick and now I'm just gluing those into place. Okay, so the flooring has taken a lot longer than what I had originally thought, but I'm really happy with where it's got to so far. So tomorrow, it's, a, it's the end of today, tomorrow I'll see if I can get the circle for the window happening. I'm not too sure how I'm going to do that, because I really want to try and make it as round and even as possible. So I'll probably be thinking about it tonight, to be honest and then I'll work that out. Yeah, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. So this is what the flooring looks like. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with it. There is a bit of a gap in between the boards. In some places, it's a little bit too wide. So I've been thinking about this last night and I whipped down to the hardware store this morning and I've picked up some wood filler. So I'm actually gonna go through and put fill in some of the gaps. So let's get started. So for the round window, what I'm going to do is use that same piece of MDF that I've used for the base. It's about four and a half mils thick. So using my jigsaw, I'm just going to cut the round shape out. It's not perfectly round. It would have been great if I had a jig of some sort, but I, but I didn't. So I've just used the best that I can. And I'm just going to sand it down just to smooth out the uh, rough edges. And then I'm also going to sand down the wood filler as well, just to give it a really nice smooth finish. For the window itself I've actually got a Cricut Joy and it's a great little machine but it doesn't take very wide pieces of material and so what I've done is I've created some circles for the window frame but I've actually cut them in half and I'm just going to glue those together and then I'm just using a piece of vinyl for the actual window itself. Now this is a 
file that I bought off Etsy and I'll put a link to that file down below and the other half circles I suppose you could say I'll put those into a file that I will share with you all so all I'm doing is basically double layering up these half circles and so that I can kind of offset them in order to make a nice perfect circle so I've got one actually a bit larger than the other and then this one here that I'm making is just slightly smaller and then I'm going to layer it on top of each other so by the time it's finished it'll have four layers of cardstock just to kind of build up some layers and some definition of the window frame. And then to give it a real metal look, what I'm going to do is actually go over the whole thing with a layer of wood glue and this will give it a metal type finish once it's dry. So for the glass in the window, what I'm actually going to use is a CD cover. And this has got a little bit of rigidity in it. It's a little bit fragile, but it's got it's not as uh, delicate as glass. And I'm just using some sprue cutters to actually cut away the shape. So I'm just snipping away the CD case and uh, working my way in to get the round shape for the window. And then once I'm happy with it, I'm just going to test it into place just to make sure that it fits. And I'm really happy with that. And then I can move on to actually putting the spiderweb design onto the CD case. So I decided to cut the shape of the glass first and then put the pattern on over the top. And what I'm going to do is use a bit of greaseproof paper just to give me a little bit of a barrier until I can really line it up and just make sure that it's all nice and lined up before I actually stick it into place and then I'm going to go through and put another layer on the other side of the uh, plastic as well so it's got a double layer on it. So there we have the double layer of the vinyl on each side of the CD case or the glass window. And then to actually fit it into place, what I'm going to do is use this EVA foam and just cut some small strips of it. And I'm going to use that to be the bedding around the window because it's going to shape very nicely into a circle and that will hold the window into place. So for the flooring and the wall or the pieces that I've actually managed to complete, all I'm doing is giving it a bit of a wash and this is brown and black paint mixed together with a bit of water so it's still quite thick it is paint but it's still what I want to do is still see the wood grain come through and I'm just going to work my way through and paint uh, the floor and then the wall as well. And using a bit of black paint and Mod Podge and the reason why I'm using that mix is because it will, the paint will stay flexible and I'm just painting those strips of EVA foam. To secure the EVA foam in place which is really going to secure the window in place I'm just using a bit of tacky glue because that will set up really nice and quickly and I'm just going to run a bead around on the inside and then also on the outside as well.
and then once that's all done I can glue the window into place. So if you've liked this video consider hitting that like button it really does help the channel and tells YouTube's algorithm that to share the video wider so I really do appreciate that and feel free to subscribe to the channel. Have a fantastic week everybody and until next week I'll see you then. Bye for now.